Hello, welcome to Mind Your Matters. This month we are pairing up with a whole bunch of other creators and we are going to be doing a pick your number declutter challenge. I'm so thankful you're here. The gist of what I've been able to do while I'm actively decluttering this month. Thank you to the hostess, the hostess with the mostest. Mel from Melinda, plain and simple. We're so thankful to join in. And you can go in the playlist below and everyone's adding their videos at their convenience and what they need for their channels and their lives. And I am doing the same as well. I'm gonna be adding in this video of all the wonderful things that I've been able to declutter this month thus far. It is the eighth, so I guess we could say I'm like a weekend. So let's go ahead and see what we've decluttered. Last evening, my husband and I did a giant declutter. I didn't film any of that but I do want to show you the bags that we got. We got three giant bags of donations, maybe like two giant trash bags of trash, just clothing, articles, other things that came out of our master bedroom. So pretty much we started in the master bedroom and we'll also show you, or I'll also show you the master bath, how I went through all of those things and got those decluttered as well. So that was pretty great. And I think that we have a good start. I don't really have a number. I'm just, actively decluttering as in more than just I guess passive active and passive <laughs> um, perpetual decluttering is something I practice but I am seeking out these areas I am actively trying to find things that I can declutter and uh, purge this month so welcome and if you'd like to join us please do you can post and comment below you can find us on Instagram all of that fun stuff and let us know what you're doing along with us as we inspire you Thank you for being here. Let's get into the footage, shall we? We're gonna be starting down in the guest room with some declutter bins that I know I need to declutter, but I shoved away this Christmas, so we'll take care of those. Then we'll go over to, boy, where'd we go next? The master bathroom and that major declutter that I did in there. A whole bunch of things going to donations, trash, all of that stuff. Um, for friends to look through, get some perfumes and things that I decluttered. So let's look at that. And then also the master um, bedroom, the clothing declutter. I'm gonna show you what my, clo my closet looks like now. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you can be inspired to do the same. So let's get into it. I am starting with piles I've already preset. So I'm getting my things to declutter. Lots of books, lots of knickknacks, things I've put aside because we did have Christmas, we did have break, and I really didn't want to be dealing with. Um, all, tripping over and dealing with all of this mess. So I'm starting with some easy wins. There's some books that I just pulled out of my bedroom and I decided this is an easy win. Some of these need to go back to the bookshelf, um, put into donations, and I also have a box that my mom dropped off <laughs> from my childhood. So I have a lot of those things that kind of stall me out, different classes that I took and things that are special to me. So it takes a little bit longer. But if you have some things that you need to dump out, you need to take care of, please join me. And this month I'm gonna be reporting the items that I have decluttered and every day I'm actively decluttering. I hope that you can join me as well. I'm making my final decision piles and getting my things ready for trash, donations, or to put away. So I hope that you can do the same with me. Please comment below if you're joining me. Thanks for being here and let's see what we're able to take care of. While decluttering, your brain naturally takes breaks because you do need a break from making decisions. I know, sounds crazy, right? I took a little bit longer to stare at this paper. Don't really know why, but I think my brain was getting distracted and taking a brain break from making decisions. Allow yourself that as long as you're not doing it too much. If you need to plan a break after having a timer, go ahead and do so. That has always helped me, but here I was just getting as much as I could done until the fatigue set in and I really needed to step away. Now in the master bathroom, I had a lot of things that I need to take care of, especially this drawer. So those are great improvement when I went through and picked out things that didn't belong there, things that were expired, things that barely touched. They just 
make layers and problems for me. I put all my hair products that have to lay down, unfortunately, and a few of my other products. And here are the things I parted with. I just, I didn't even know I had this. I didn't part ways with it, but I didn't know I had some of these things and they do not need to be in here. They need to go to other parts of the house or they just need to be get rid of. So a lot was accomplished here, empty containers, and it made my drawer less congested. Onto the closet. If you've seen my channel at all before, this closet has gone through a lot of different transformations. As you can see, I have the potential <laughs> baskets that I've purchased and I wanted to replace them. Things were just disheveled, a whole container of makeup I need to go through. And this just needed a major refresh. So I started by emptying every thing out just so I could see what I actually had. Just like anything, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. <laughs> I had all this stuff out and I really didn't have a hard time putting things that I needed. I had a whole bunch of serums and things that I love and like, some natural products that I need for my health and I've been working through. I just put them in quick access instead of having them tip everywhere. Here is my finished container system. I love these new bins. I got them on sale at a store nearby that sells them a little bit cheaper. I love the wooden top and my makeup really got pared down and um, organized and I like it a lot better. It just looks so much neater. Yeah, and eventually I'm gonna be able to uh, roll my towels like an adult, but you know, for now, we're gonna do our best. <laughs> here are a whole bunch of products that I need to go through again, but I mean, here's the end of my drawer. It's a little um, layered, but again, things I'm gonna be using and I think I'm gonna give it a trial period go through it again, but I like it a lot better. It's gonna be a lot more functional. Some hand creams that I need accessible and yeah, I'm just thankful that it turned out. Oh boy. Here we go, under the sink. The catch-all, everything gets thrown into here and it really needs to be handled. So again, I'm gonna take everything out and see what needs to go, what needs to stay. I have some things that things that bother my health, things with these um, Bath and Body Works scents, even though I have loved them in the past, I really enjoy them. We've spent money on them. I just, you know, they need to go. And it's an easy no, and I can make that decision because I don't grab from, because I am trying to protect my health. So out and away they go. We're actually gonna donate these to a place that can use them. They are not, unsterile you know they're just lotions and things of that nature so here's what i have left look at this i am so pleased and actually the two cents in there needed to go too but i wasn't quite ready to let go well, along with getting a whole bunch of christmas stuff decluttered and taken out of here because christmas is like well my bedroom unfortunately becomes christmas central so um there we have some wrapping paper that's too long for my little holder, so I'm gonna have to decide on those things. We've got hangers galore that my husband was able to empty, and we're just gonna be putting these in other parts of the house and all of that, but that's that. Oh boy, that might go into another room. We'll take care of that later, but my closet now, I didn't get it before, so I'm just gonna have to take my word for it. We were just getting into it. Um, of course, this is kind of mangy and messy, but I have always decluttered my dresses and I did a major overhaul on my clothing line. You can see a mommy uniform here, as you can see, because my pants and my shirts and my long sweaters, which I love and wear often. If you know anything about my channel, I'm here on in Southern Maine, so we have to have lots of layers. Added a couple, you know, drawers for delicate socks and things like that, shoes, 
more shoes. Yes, I love my shoes. <laughs> but one major big change that we had um, here, well, of course, I did a couple things up here. I think two of these are empty, so we'll figure that out. This is just for gifts. Over here, my husband went through a lot of his stuff, like three bags of things. So he was able to hang his coats here. Previously, these were up there. So we've um, gained all that space back. It's not perfect. We got some Oh, I think that's actually mine. <laughs> we got some things we still need to handle. Um, but a lot of dress shirts um, got overhauled. He has some from Christmas, you know, some new Christmas one and some other things and some suits, some pants, things that he went through. So yeah, all of these things are better. Jeans were uh, taken care of and a lot of things were, I guess, uncongested. So we're pretty excited. It feels a lot better here in the closet having those things taken out. Of course, there's still more room to grow and to do, but we're really happy and content with what we were able to accomplish in these sessions. And it's only the eighth. Oh, I'm so excited. We have a big trip that we're gonna be making to the uh, Salvation Army and some other drop-offs. Also have some things going to consignment and just basically how they're leaving my house, whether they're going to trash, whether a bag like I just dropped off to my friend at church today, that is a hand-me-down bag, that is a declutter. Whether we're um, hand-me-down bags, things like that are going out, consignment, any type of donation or trash, like all of those different things, however they're exiting our home. So I'm pretty excited the things that we were able to accomplish. We did a great job, my husband did a great job. I think he was, I don't know, he was so much more ruthless than me. <laughs> I was trying all the little tips and things like that and he's just, he's got that male brain and just wants to get rid of A lot of, of the things he just knew for a fact. This is not spark joy as in I've had this since I was a teenager. Make no joke. <laughs> Good quality clothes do last that long. Anyways. So we are so thankful. Let me show you some more of the piles and um, yeah, we'll see what else we accomplished. All right, real quick before we leave this area, I'm just down from the master staircase, which has all the bags up there, which is kind of disheartening, but we can't get rid of it until Monday. Um, other things that need to be taken care of are um, returns. So I've got some boots. Actually, we got some for free hand-me-downs and um, yeah, I didn't need those. So we're sending those back. We've got some games and things. We've got some um, things that go back to stores. Some are going back to Goodwill if they'll take them. And then we have some other um, things that need to be returned. So all this is returned. So that counts as a declutter as well. It is leaving my house. So yeah. Oh my goodness. And apparently we need to clean up around here. As we come down to the basement, we have a lot of things I actually have to fix these from Christmas um, these are just little you know containers with um, snow globes in it and sugar I gotta get rid of that we got some like organizing bins those can just go to trash recycle whatever you know they can just go let's see what we got here we got some stuffies that have had their time oh boy some signage went through my decor I went through my decor bin so here's a bunch of stuff from the decor there's some Christmas down there this tray and honestly um, all these things probably were from the thrift store to be honest sometimes I keep stickers on there like okay this one for instance this be fearless I got it for two dollars so that can go back I rent things from Goodwill <laughs> send them back in good condition this was five dollars from the SA a while ago uh, a couple Dollar Tree things. I can't remember where I got this. Um, I think this tray. I, don't, I can't really flip it over. Okay. Oh, there we go. From Goodwill. Three dollars. So, here we are. Just sending them back. A lot of these things. This had a tag on it. It was a couple dollars. That's going back. And a lot of these other little knickknacks. Patty wax. All those things. So, all that is another declutter done well. And once we get it up into the bins, we'll be able to bring it to the donation center. Right, right now our declutter pile's crazy, but we're gonna be getting to the donation center soon. These are some boxes, those aren't part of it. We've got some um, winterizing things, garland decor, puzzles that didn't work out, some other things down below, all mostly home goods and so on. Let's see the other pile. My um, stuff that I put that's nicer, I put it in the consignment box so that I can 
donate that. These are nicer dresses and things. I'm gonna make sure I go through for a friend. So this is like the savable stuff, things that are not really going into the donation center or the trash. And for some encouragement, well, not the blanket, but look at all <laughs> of the empty bins. Look at that. Definitely had some progress here in this declutter and other ones that we have tried to work on. So yeah, empty bins are a good sign. Well, here we have my new and improved storage room. <laughs> um, I was able to put a whole bunch of stuff away. I have some bins that I need to get into because again, I organize the clutter. I know that sounds bad. Organizing it to put it in one place so that I can declutter it later because we had guests coming and instead of just getting all stressed out, I just put them in containers and put them in the room here. And we've got a couple that are closed um, down here and some books and I'll be working on those later. And that's just fine and dandy for me. I'm just gonna work at it in stages. It all doesn't have to be done today, <laughs> but I have all of my Christmas stuff put away. We have some Christmas bins back here, all organized. Put back is a Christmas decor box, um, and then some other bins just uh, organized a little bit better. Some kids things are going to consignment and also being donated and also going to <laughs> hand-me-downs and things like that, be able to go through all those bins. So though it's not absolutely perfect, we are working on it and I'm excited. I think that this is January is kicked off really well and I can see a lot of progress even right off in the beginning even if we don't keep this same pace and speed I am pretty content with what we've been able to accomplish in this January 2023 pick a number declutter I'm so excited so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here thank you for joining me if you're doing a declutter this January 2023 let me know if you're just doing your regular pace or if you're picking it up a notch where are you starting what have you got accomplished what did you find that maybe um, maybe your decluttering muscles are better just let me know in the comments let's chat down there and please check out the playlist below Melinda and all of our friends are gonna be joining in popping in different videos here and there so you have plenty of encouragement for your journey whether you're joining us or not not. Everyone needs to be keeping things tidy, checking out their home, things that need to be given to others. We need to be stewarding our stuff properly and having things collect us and cause us stress is not stewarding our stuff. So I hope that you can join in. I hope that you can be encouraged and thank you for watching this video. If it deserves a thumbs up, go ahead and do so. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so so you don't miss anything and make sure you click the bell button so that you get all notifications when we have a video pop up on our channel. Thanks for being here and we will catch you next time. And to quote Melinda, happy decluttering. Bye. Um, putting things, uh, where else could my kids were like downstairs going, <sighs> my mommy brain just took over. Whoa.